going to take a look at our brand new tiny house model. We absolutely love this one. It's only the, it's the smallest of our tiny houses that we make. It's 3.6 meters long, yet it has everything in it. Kitchen, bathroom, lounge, dining, uh, and even a queen size bed loft. So come on, let's have a look. You'll see here from the outside, it's, uh, it's a dual axle trailer. It's all got electric brakes and um, we've done a painted cedar to the cladding on this one with a beautiful color bond roof. Got the nice black double glazed windows and all the window openings have fly screens. And today we'll feature uh, our new retractable front door screen. It's mounted on the inside. That's now an option for all our tiny homes if you'd like. Move around to the back, we've got this really nice uh, picture window here at the back to bring a nice amount of light in to this tiny house. Wave Grant. Hey. <laughs> You're on camera. <laughs> yeah, so if you have any questions about this tiny house while we're looking through it, just um, send those through. We're happy to answer them, otherwise, we'll just keep touring around. You'll see here as we come in around the front. Um, Actually, before we go in, just a little special feature for this one. It is designed, we have dubbed this tiny house the Mini City Tiny House, specifically designed for uh, hard to spot, hard to get in spots. Hi, Phil, thanks for joining us. Now, at the back here, we've attached this, um, it doesn't look like much, but it's actually a rear attachment. So, if we get to your house and the orientation of how you want your tiny house position means that we can't back it in conventionally, we can actually disconnect the towing vehicle, bring the vehicle around to the back, and we have this connection point here where we can actually uh, push the tiny house in in a forward direction. Might be a little bit hard to understand, but um, for those people with a tight access point, they'll understand because you might want to keep the, the front door away from the fence line, but to do that, rather than backing it in conventionally, we have to push it in. So. You'll see that in action uh, when we take this to Sydney later on, and um, you'll see what we mean. And while we're at the, we're on the outside, we'll come around the front again because. Thanks, Phil. We're very excited about this new model, the Mini City Tiny. It's going to go to Sydney soon. Yeah. So where this one's going to be positioned, just to showcase what a tiny house can do. The front drawbar. That's what we call the drawbar. The bit that uh, attached to towing vehicle it actually can disconnect and we can slide it back in underneath. So Greg can you just move back a bit? Yeah, so wanna... if you've got a really tight uh, access point and this um, this piece is in the way we can actually uh, underneath we can we can unbolt it and we can actually push the drawbar in and tuck it away so we can keep the the floor area of the tiny house much tighter than normal. Wow, mm -hmm. is this a new feature? It is new. We've done it once before, but we think it's it is important on this particular model because we think it'll go into more inner city spots. So, so this we, one's going to go to Marrickville first. Marrickville first. So we can show some Sydney. people. That's right. Yeah. And it's going to go on a, a block with a terrace on it that's... Well, the land is 180 square metres and it's a three-bedroom terrace house yeah it's only four meters wide so this land, is just so the this perfect is, yeah. um, backyard tiny house exactly yeah so as standard you'll see uh hot water system gas instantaneous hot water we've got the gas regulator here here's your connection point for your power simply plug in a 15 amp lead to the, to the house and away you go this particular tiny also has um solar which is standard on all our tiny houses for the lighting system so um, yeah, let's let's take a look. Let's let the dogs come along. The resident, this is Sheila. <laughs> is this is Sheila, the resident dog. How old is she? Grant, how old is Sheila? Uh, Sheila's fourteen now. Yeah? Fourteen. Yeah. 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 Anyway, we'll come okay, here. Okay, here we go. In. Very exciting. Yeah. Is this? Is every? Oh, oh he's oh. dead. G'day, g'day. <laughs> last Just last <laughs> Dave the Builder. <laughs> okay, yeah, so as we come into this tiny house, you can see we've got the lounge area set up here next to the window. Behind their head will be the opening glass lighting. 
all again, I stress, double glazed. We got the TV on the wall. With a fan? A, yeah, this one has a oscillating fan, bladeless fan. It's a, uh, a new sort of addition we're trying instead of the ceiling fan. Oh, no, no noodle, pool noodles. No need for the pool noodles, as you might have seen idea. on previous videos. We've got the storage shelf above, which also acts as a bit of a um, structural piece with this tiny house, which is important for going down the highway. Sorry, we're in a factory and I'm seeing just <laughs> trucks and <laughs> yeah, <not laughs> through the, the window. Anyway, that's how it is. Yep. Yes. So on all the, uh, you'll see in all the tiny houses we custom make all our furniture, and with this particular couch, we've got the soft close drawer runners, so we're not wasting any space. Everything, um, everything we have here is extra space. Now in this particular tiny house, that's obviously needed because it's only three point six meters long. So that table turns around. It doesn't yeah, go up higher. It doesn't go higher, but you can spin it depending on the direction you're after, or okay. you can just simply take it out. Take it out. Take okay. it out if you don't want it. But if you're trying to arrange like a different configuration or just ease of getting in, sometimes it's easier to get in. You might be doing some laptop work, or if you want to watch some TV, or if you get a have a friend over and you want a longer table, you can run it like that as well. Yeah. So on the other side, we've got our kitchen. And with the kitchen is our um, built-in storage ladder. And it's quite a um, tricky piece of cabinetry here, the boys do, where the kitchen bench shop forms part of the ladder itself. And obviously we've got our kitchen sink with the cutout, so it creates more bench space. It was obviously needed in a tiny house like this. Two burner gas cooktop, conventional sort of convection oven, and then your storage. Cutlery drawer and extra drawers are in here as well. Okay, and then the bathroom. Yeah, typical bathroom. This one's got a flushing toilet because where it's going, it's got mains connection. So you can just uh, just have a plumber hook up to a sewer point in the backyard. And then the vanity and then the shower, of course. Mm. Nice towel. Ready to go. It's ready to go. Now, Grant, you need to go upstairs because everyone wants to see the loft. Oh, they want to see the loft? <laughs> yes, right, I've been told. No worries. And we'll any questions are welcome. Shoes. So let us know if you've got any questions. Okay, so I'm just wondering if you want to take this off me so you can really... Because everyone last week wanted to see the loft. Yep, well there's the... There's the storage loft over there. This is a queen size bed that we've got in here. My beautiful wife has staged the tiny. Always put power points both sides. We always put power points both sides of the bed. So if you want to charge your iPhone or smartphone whatever it is or have a, a bedside lamp that's also an option we've got our ceiling lights which run purely off the battery on the solar so all the lights in this particular tiny run on the solar and then we have um just like down here is the skylight so we have a v-lux skylight on this one And it's also got the block out blind, so if you want to have a sleep in, you just slide down the block out blind. Hey Phil, thanks for watching buddy. Yeah, so that's cool. The Velux is a really great product. You've got um, a little vent, so it's always venting. If you just push that up, that's venting. That's venting there, that's sealed. Or if you want to open it up, then you just simply turn that and click. Now this particular tiny house is priced at 55,000. And it's on display right now at our workshop. It's also gonna be going on tour. We'll be sending this out from the workshop, heading up 
up north to start with in a couple of weeks. So just keep um, keep a watch on our Facebook page. We can give you some more details about that. All right, well, I'll pass you back down to Kylie. And uh, I guess unless there's any more questions, we can uh, finish up the tour. Oh, Grant, I've just opened the the screen to show you this the oh, screen yeah. that's a new feature isn't yeah. it i love yeah. it yeah, so i don't no. know if you can tell but the no, fly screen is closed yeah it should just be magnetic and then it's open yeah great idea yeah. perfect hi from perth do you have any design for no loft bedroom on lower floor yeah we have yes. heaps heaps of no lofts um we've got a few we've got three new models coming out later in the year in October. They're all no loft. Um, we have a, a 4.8 meter one that's no loft, so there's a lot that are no loft, whether you want a single bed, king size bed, queen size bed, it's really up to you. Or if you want multiple bedrooms, we have that as well. Uh, for a no loft, you're really looking maximum four people. But every design is custom made, so it's up to you on what you want. You can send through a uh, template, which you can get off our website. Send that through, we'll send you out a 3D model of your uh, particular shape and design, and um, we'll take it from there. So yeah, there's no limits on on what shape or if you want no loft. But, but this particular one is only 3.6 meters long, so it is a prototype for us. The first time we've made this size, and there's no way of having a bed on the ground floor in this particular model. But we certainly, the next size up, 4.8 meters long, we can get a queen size bed. So it's definitely possible. Okay, so can I just clarify, you've made this size before, but not in a uh, the largest studio. We've made, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. the largest, we've made the size before, but no no sleeping loft. Mm. So normally it's, um, normally it's just a bathroom and a bed, single bed on the ground floor. We have done a bunk bed on the ground floor as well, but never a queen size loft. So it's really the smallest tiny house we think is possible for to be able to house, you know, everything. Bathroom, kitchen, lounge, yep. dining and sleeping Yeah. And one of us is going to be sleeping in it in the city. Yeah. In the next couple of That's weeks. It. And it to, to show you exactly that you can sleep in it and that it can fit in a in a tight backyard in um an inner city That's suburb. It. Yeah. Hopefully right. you can hear over our noise and thanks for joining in with us this week. We're doing this every week on Monday at one o'clock. That's it. Thanks oh, guys. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Have a great day.